When it comes time to call it a day, all four motor coaches offer a number of sleeping options such as the power overhead bunk. But before you turn the key and drop this bunk, there are a few things I need to point out for you. First up, see these? These are warning labels. I know, we generally ignore warning labels, don't we? You know, a professor at Purdue University actually did a study to find out why, and, and without really getting into the whole article, it really comes down to how people weigh benefits versus risks. So, in this case, the benefit may be a very comfortable good night's sleep, right? The risk here, a pinch or a crush, in which case, vacation may be over. Now, these labels also state things like load capacity and the potential to roll right out. Now that we're playing by the rules of the bunk, you are almost ready to turn that key. Before you use the power bunk, the coach needs to be leveled. After you're leveled, take the keys out of the ignition. On the entry panel, make sure the house battery disconnect switch is in the use position. Take the seats and recline them back. It's best if you close your privacy curtains or sunshades before you lower the bed. Make sure you pull out the safety pins and make sure your overhead cabinets are closed and nothing is sticking out. Now you're ready to turn the key to on and press that button. Once the bed is down, hold that button two seconds more to sync those drive motors up. This way the bed is level and those motors will not get out of whack. Once you have the bed lowered, turn the keys to the off position you can take them out if you want. Now your ladder is ready to go in place. A few more things to mention. If you're thinking of putting the kids up here, you need to ask yourself this. Are they going to fall out of bed? It's really not advised kids under six sleep up here. And this is where you need to decide whether or not to use a bed rail. There are a ton of them out there, but keep this in mind. This mattress is not what you have at home. The RV mattress is gonna be a different size, so you need to follow the bed rail instructions. When the kids are up here though, you may have to pull out this phrase, stop horsing around. You know they're gonna be excited about the trip, right? But you want them to be safe. Come morning, when it's time to hit the road, you need to put the bed up. Now, no way can you drive with it in the down position, right? So, you put the ladder back in place. Before you put the bed up, make sure it is all clear so nothing will be damaged and no one will get hurt. And then you push that switch. Remember, hold that switch for two seconds and make sure no one is still up here. You're gonna put your seats back in place, you need to put your pins back in place as well, and then you are ready to roll. For more owner's resources, visit ThorMotorCoach.com.